Just as rugby is special to New Zealanders, soccer is the game in Asian countries. Many ethnic soccer teams have been set up here in our main cities. The live sport team is regarded as one of the best. Here on a Sunday morning in Auckland, a father and his two sons are together on the field. Mr. Bunsi Fumahase is the coach of his son, Sabdi, and Buti Dad. I have been playing soccer um, since I arrived in New Zealand in uh, 1986. And then I've um, been playing every single year uh, since then. Oh, yes, yes, and they, they like soccer. I think the young, the young one, because our people, I think, can't do anything better than soccer, you know. Most players belong to other clubs as well. For Sakti, he's also playing for the junior or whites. Unlike other clubs, live soccer is a relaxed training ground. We're just playing for fun, really. You know? It's like you want to come together and just start play. So it doesn't matter how young you are or what you, are, you are like playing, they let you play. You know? Why did you start the game? Because uh, I want to bring the people come together, you know, because uh, some of them, you know, they don't know very much about our culture. When they come together, we can talk about it, and we learn something else from uh, you know, different people. Even though the live community is small, it has many soccer teams, and all are well organized. Mr. Bunsi Fomahase has taken his team to become the Lao soccer champions early this year and even managed to take his boys for a tournament in Laos. Now they are preparing for a one-off friendly match with a Cambodian team. Our team is quite new, even uniform we don't have, even this clothes, this shirt we borrowed from Lao's team. And you think around like all my group, my team, there are some fans that's different. Different color. Last team, they maybe they play quite well because they are old team. We just try anyway. <laughs> we do the best for today. I played soccer when I was about five or six, but I just soccer just grew into me when I was ten and stuff, and I carried on since then. For me, soccer is in the blood because from Laos, uh, soccer is a national sport. How about rugby? Rugby is a um, good game, I think, but for me, because you know it's, it's a new game for me, and uh, physically, I think I'm not built to play rugby. <laughs> <laughs> How is your coach? He's really good because he doesn't press you to do the you know hard stuff. Just tells you to play your own game. When the people they have something to do. They don't waste their time, right? They, they don't want to go out, you know, to go to be a street boy or something like that. They're prepared for the game, for the, what they're going to do. The Asian people just lost soccer. Today in New Zealand, the game does not have a high profile. But who knows, one day they might make it to the World Cup again. Oh, by the way, the live team beat the Cambodians 11-2. Not quite the World Cup, but a great game.